So this is the original box that the Ducky Shine 2 came in, the um, latest model. It come oh it came with let's pull it in. an instruction manual which shows you um, how to record LED settings. It came with a key puller and three replacement um, WASD keys. A um, just like a plastic keyboard cover and a USB cable which goes from micro USB to um, normal USB at the back that you can see micro USB um, I get straight into so the lighting effects which are turned on by FN F10 you have the original um, so normal um, keys up here, these ones aren't lit up. You have your full keyboard. You have a pulsating mode. I'll just let that go for a bit. You have um, key mode, so if you press the key it turns on. And all these, by the way, you can adjust the brightness. So if I, oh, you can see here on the FN key. This is the um like the cherry blue switches by the way. They're quite noisy. But I really like that noise. It's like a it's almost like a typewriter noise. My brother was complaining to me that it was a bit loud but it's really nice it's like when you're doing lengthy reports or any sort of type in your desk, get get what you think you'll enjoy because then it's not as tedious and it's really, really nice to type on. The other one is this marquee scrolling mode, which just I'll just get a different view. You can just see the um it just scrolls at the top there. And that's it for um, the built-in ones and then you can record your own which is simply, oh these are my pre-recorded ones I just did the edges like that and then I did just a sort of stripey pattern but the way you do this is you just go you go function record and then you can turn on what keys you want to be recorded and then hit it again and then so, so I'll just do a demo I'll record one, I'll turn these keys on, like this, hit record, and now they're on, so I can go, I can just switch them, scroll through the modes, and that's a pre-recorded one. Um, I'll just get some video views for you guys if I can focus that it's quite an elegant keyboard my first mechanical keyboard actually it's it's nice and sort of minimalistic I really I like the um I was going to get the dust keyboard, which has like a little, like cut out here. But I didn't like. I, I was tossing up between that and this, and I decided to get this just because I think that would irritate me in the long run. Um, I'll actually get some typing sounds for you. I'll turn off the lights. So I'll put on maximum bright brightness. Oh, that is maximum. So that's minimum brightness. Off. Only this portion. 
the whole keyboard. So this is top view. Looks quite nice. The camera really doesn't do much justice, but it looks a lot better. It's sort of blurred out on the camera. My recorded, my other recorded, off that portion, whole keyboard, pulsating mode. You can't set the brightness on the pulsating mode. Um, flash keys, marquee, off, I'll do the whole keyboard. So that's the actual maximum um, brightness, that's minimum brightness. Minimum brightness is quite nice. Now disregard my bad typing habit. But these are just cherry blues. It's considerably loud. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's got a slight squeak to the spacebar. I think I was reading some some places online. You can just get some lubricant under the keyboard, and it will remove that squeak. That's slightly annoying. I'm gonna, I'm going to have to actually fix that. Um, I know what to type. <laughs> Um, it's really nice sound. I actually love this noise. I was contemplating getting a 10 keyless version as well, but I don't know. I just went with this this version. Um, a few other comments to make is that it's when you when you lift it out of the box, it's considerably heavy. Like it feels it feels well built, and it's not gonna like break any time. Well, it's not like it's, you're gonna drop it, but it feels very sturdy. It's got a um, these switches on the back, which have they're in the instruction manual. I don't actually know what they do. Oh, here they go. The dip switch instructions. So you can lock the control and caps lock, Windows key lock, USB and key rollover. That's just the sort of so you can put multiple keys at once and they all they all work like that. And yeah. Um, as this is my first ever mechanical keyboard, I'd say I I paid one hundred and fifty dollars for it. It's quite nice. I don't. Mm, it, I think it'll be worth it'll be worthwhile in the long run. But if you want to get a good keyboard, I think really go which one you like. People are recommending brown switches, but I really like that clickety clack. Um, and yeah, I'll just go over the lights one more time. I, I like the pulsating mode too, that's quite nice with screen savers just in the dark. But you get a keyboard to type on, not to look at. First impressions, I don't like the um, squeak of the spacebar. Other than that, I think it's a really excellent keyboard. I've been using it for about two days straight, doing some reports and... Um, things for uni. I really like it actually.